Hi guys, welcome to the video today. So we are going through some of my old sketchbooks. This is a video that I, most of it I filmed um, for the advent calendar last year, but I didn't get to finish it. So I've added a little bit of footage at the front and a little bit at the end. And then I'm gonna just um, leave you to watch a lot of the middle of it. So I'll put it to some music. And so you can kind of, I don't think I'll be able to keep up with the you know footage. So. Um, you can ask me any questions in the comments, but I think it'll just be um, more relaxing to just watch it with music. And yeah, you'll be able to kind of see this kind of ebb and flow of different mediums and things like that. So I'll explain a few things now to kind of watch out for and um, things that I was really enjoying at the time. So you can see kind of here, this is my uh, current desk setup. But um, I wanted to specifically go into this little sketchbook. So um, I show this, but this is one, It I think I finished it in 2016. I started it around 2013, 2014. And in this sketchbook, I am just using the very basic student grade set of 12 uh, Windsor and Newton from Michaels. And then um, the $5 Artist Loft um, Sparkle, like those, the plastic, it's like a large plastic tray just on the edge of the, like the end caps of the aisles in Michaels. So, um, yeah, like very, very basic supplies. And I just wanted to let you know that, um, you know, because you can see like on the channel, I, uh, you know, 10 years later, I am using quite a, you know, artist grade quality things but you can see here like this is what's left of um that little first palette and i filled a whole sketchbook i think that sketchbook took me three years to fill and that's what i was using um you know some really really basic watercolors so i just wanted to let you know that you know don't um let what you have uh, stop you from starting and really enjoying watercolor and then the next thing here is this is some handmade journals and kind of art journals you can see more of that over on heirloom lux i really love um lace and fabric and those kind of things and you'll see a lot of that in this video so um this is a journal from a few years ago and you can see i use crochet and just black cotton like a crochet hook just this tiny one and i i that was when the paris attacks happened so i did the eiffel tower on the front there um, yeah and then just at that time like probably 10 years ago there was a lot of um, no watercolor it was all um, this kind of crochet and slow stitching and uh, silk and lace and ribbons and all of those kind of things and so I wanted you to see kind of this is what I mean when I say it's okay to you know if you're frustrated with watercolor you can stop and do something else you know I and I think you'll find that nothing is a waste. It will all come together. You're accumulating knowledge and um, skills. And so, you know, all those things will combine at some point and, and be really beautiful. So um, at this stage, I was going to like an embroidery thread shop and I was picking out, you know, linens and um, like different you know threads and silk threads and wool threads and um yeah just really enjoying that kind of aspect of things and uh yeah and you will see like on my journals that i make over on alien likes you'll see that a lot of these st things are still in you know in my repertoire so i still create these little um kind of special little things to add on to journals um you could see like that silk flower was inspired by old French um, silk flowers. Little pockets here, like a silk organza pocket that I didn't finish. And um, also like uh, journal covers that I also haven't finished. Um, but yeah, also if you do want to learn more about um, like hand stitching and slow stitching, Karen Ruane on Instagram, and I think that she does have classes as well. She is one of my favorite um, embroidery artists. She's, it's really, really beautiful um, what she creates. So I highly recommend her and I will leave a link uh, to her in the description as well. Um, and yeah, so I am not going to, you can see like 
I was trying to create these roses like with um, uh, needle painting and then here is a like a flag that I was working on like the I didn't finish like the Southern Cross and I think I might do that in um, sequins one day at some point but um, yeah and so then I would go from kind of this really um, involved kind of embroidery to just having basically a pencil and a notebook. So you can see here like I have a couple of Rifle Paper Co ones um, and also my favorite was just a moleskin. Like the, I, I really liked the um, moleskin Volant that you could get like the two white ones together and they were quite thin and yeah I could just take them everywhere and that was kind of for a couple of years that was like my go-to um, yeah thing that I would I would use you could see here like I would be trying to create these really elaborate frames and um, there are a couple of videos on this channel about you know where to start and how you can start doing those kind of things but um, yeah and then you can see like the embroidery threads it's still kind of the same uh, palette and I was creating like these like artist um, shoes from plaster and lace um, I also I think I mean this was quite this would be maybe 15 years ago I used a um, uh, you know a frame a, um, canvas and I just filled it with um, fabric and just made like a little interactive pocket there and some silk flowers so there's quite you know it's, it's very varied and then like you can see here like a pencil sketch and then I would um, put some ribbon in a like embroidery frame and then stitch that out so that's another really nice thing to do and I um, so you can see like here I'm just showing you like the embroidery hoop so this is a really large one but even at Walmart you can get really really small ones and then you can just add the ribbon in and create um, those little like emblems for the front of your sketchbooks or journals. So I think that's about it for the intro. I just wanted to say as well, I um, so I've sh I show some pages that I've never shown on here before. Um, I also show pages that you know aren't finished and ones that I really don't like. You know they didn't turn out well at all. But that's all just part of the journey. It's part of the process. It's again like part of building that repertoire of skill and um yeah so i hope you enjoyed it this was um the other morning it was really really magical so i'll show a little bit more of this at the end and i will show a little bit in the next video for today um i'll i'll, I'll announce the next video at the end but um yeah i hope you enjoy this so again like this is more current and I'm just kind of doing a little intro here to show like kind of more current things any of the hand stitched uh, journals there should be a video tutorial on this video or on heirloom lux about how to create them as well so um, and I will leave in the comments like in the description just um, a list of all the journals that I've used so that you can uh, have a look through those if there's a link I will put that in but um, just give me a minute to get that all organized so yeah um i hope you enjoy this and kind of oh the other thing i wanted to mention is uh my handwriting so you will see you know i i think i just started out more with um notebooks that i used for uh quotes for just keeping quotes and um yeah it, my handwriting is nothing special so um, I do have handwriting sheets now for my handwriting in my Etsy and I think I started to develop that around 2015 maybe till 2018 so I did quite a lot of work over a few years on um, developing that the handwriting that I have now um, yeah so and you'll kind of see that but yes I hope this is helpful and kind of gives you some inspiration and um, just even on how to put your own uh, like talents together and how to combine different um, different things that you enjoy so they don't all have to be kind of separate you can you know um, combine 
you know embroidery with watercolor and things like that so it's very exciting and um, I will see you guys at the end bye
pasión para mi gente Con una pasión Con una pasión tan fuerte Ay, 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 ay Ahora sigo cantando y sigo gozando Yo sigo cantando y sigo gozando
Okay, so I tried to go through everything chronologically, but I think this this is kind of out of order, but I've, I remember this and I wanted to add this in as well. So this is a really large book that I was creating out of um, lace and also, so it was lace that I got um, from a fabric shop in Brisbane and um, it was in the, you know, like the off cuts uh, bin and yeah and then also just a, a shirt that I got like for like five dollars or something from anthropology so I cut that up and I used kind of the bottom of the shirt and then added the lace on that and just added a whole bunch of different papers and things like this I really really love this so this is actually the state it's in I haven't finished it but this is definitely something that we might um you know see more of um, on the channel um, but and you can see like just all kinds of little different bits of like old if you have like a favorite old you know t-shirt or skirt or something like that you can also cut that up and use that fabric in your you know sketchbooks and journals and um, yeah so and there is another artist on Instagram I'll see if I can I can't remember I think it's Betsy Ian Studio maybe, but I will link uh, her below as well. And she embroiders over acrylic on canvas panels. Yeah, it's really beautiful as well. So um, I think that is about it. So for um, the next video, I wanted, I actually kind of just added this video in this morning um, because I am still working on uh, finishing a couple of things for the next video which is today's video which is all my palettes and I'll give you a little update on the um, last lot of orders so they're all done I have like one more thing with the freebies to do and um, they'll be shipping out on Monday hopefully Monday or Tuesday and yeah so I'm I'm really happy it's been a labor of love and I hope you guys enjoy them um, I will show all that in yeah a video later on today and I was also thinking about doing another I've gotten quite a few questions and I thought maybe I could do another shop update but definitely not today so that will probably be next video which is in two weeks on Saturday and just going to be a mini update so just a few five half pan sets um, yeah and um, so yeah let me know if you have any questions down below and um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later on today bye